Hey guys, it's Sunday morning here. Got to keep going. No one ever got anything done quitting. Just got to keep keep at it. So the reason I've done it like this is because I bought four litres of paint. And I just wanted to see how much paint I'd use getting the engine bay and all in the inside parts done. And it did chew a fair bit of paint, nearly two litres. So I bought another two litres. I'm going to mix all that together when I paint when I paint these panels the outside I'll say, and I should have a bit left over hopefully a litre or whatever I'll have some left over in case this car gets damaged it'll be the exact colour so what my plan is today is to rub down the bonnet the boot lid and the two doors I'll let them dry and then I'll go do some more mowing that'll take me uh, probably nearly a couple of hours to rub this stuff down properly I'm going to block down with 800 I'm just going to use this big block here that little thing and then I like this soft block so see how it goes I may hit it with 600 first and then hit it with 800 well I'm gonna try and do it with 800 there's the bonnet all rubbed I'll just dry that off and I've got this match old mattress here I'm gonna just sit everything on that down with 600 blocked it down with that big block and then I've gone over it with this soft block with the 800 that's what I'm going to do the whole car. The only thing I just want to add is that grey stuff, I want to block as much of that off as possible. The less amount of that grey stuff there, the better the job. Little bonnet done, just got to do the doors. It's been going for about an hour and a quarter so far. Probably an hour and a half, really. But the reason I like to do this stuff wet, I know a lot of people like to do it dry, like Joe, Joe Souza. I just find it, it, with this stuff here especially, it just clogs the paper instantly. And there's no dust. And this is just the way I've been shown how to do it. So this is how I do it. You know, I, I, it everything's clean when you're finished. It's, it's not a bad system if you can do it like that. But do it whichever way you feel is the best for yourself. Whatever works for you is good. I've got all the four panels are all rubbed down. It, it took me the best part of, well, not 1.30 now. I started at 10.30, so... It takes a while to get it all done right and then cl everything cleaned up, I'm, I've packed up. So that stuff's getting here tomorrow. I'll just let it dry over you know, for the rest of the day and then the, tomorrow when it's warm, I'll hit that. They're getting done, that's it, they're done. I'm not going to do them again. Unless I see something I don't like, I'll rub them down and hit them again, but there's no reason why they won't turn out good. Then on Tuesday, I'll do the exact same thing to that, rub all that down. And on Wednesday, I want to paint that. And then I can assemble all this stuff and I'll just let it sit for a few weeks, whatever. Sometime in January, I'll give that a buff. I'll block it down with some 2,000, 3,000, whatever. And just give it a good buff. Spend a day, maybe two, buffing the whole thing. Depends how long it takes. Luckily, it's only a little car. Some cars, you can spend a, you know, four or five days just polishing them. It's bloody annoying. I hate, out of everything, I hate buffing the worst. It, it stuffs my back up. Anyway, just having a little bit of a whinge. I've tipped all this paint together into this bigger tin. That's a six litre tin. It's got a little bit of thinness with that. So anyway, now I'm just going to put a, put a, store some in here and put a bit here and I'll use some today. A little bit sort of windy, gusty on, on and off here, but I've got these panels sitting in the sun. I'll just put them there for five minutes or so. They'll warm up. And that'll be, give them a nice temperature to paint them. And I'll do the boot lid after I've done them. I just haven't really got the space here. Just moving stuff around. There's the first coat. That looks pretty good. I give it a real dusty coat first. And that's the first full coat. So I'll give that a few of those. And that'll do that. I'll put that aside. Then I'll paint that. I just don't actually really have the space, like I said, to do it all in one hit.
Looks pretty good. I don't know what's the best light for the camera. I think back this angle's better. Anyway, that's the third coat. That's the fourth coat. That's the last coat. It looks pretty good. Very lucky. Got no shit land in it, which is rare here. There's that much crap drops out of these trees. No bugs landed in it. If I get that with the rest of the car, we, if, I, if the rest of the car turns out like that, it, I'll be really, really happy. Anyway, I'll let that dry. Now I'll move this crap around. I'll get onto that. I've got to finish this. I've got to finish for the day. The more I've got to rub that down, I've got to go and buy some more sandpaper and shit, wasabi. Yeah. It's obviously hard to tell on camera, but, you know, they've come up good. They've come up bloody good, then freaking nice and straight like that bonnet was pretty much a throwaway thing it was pretty well stuffed if you want to see what I did to it look back up on some of the old videos there's a video on that bonnet I had to pull it all apart and repair it it's got hardly any bog in it no they've come up mint it's, it's going to buff up great four coats the way I put it on is like six for a normal spray painter I put it on super wet
An it looked like an elephant jumped on that before I got to it. But absolutely, I'm really happy with that. That's, that's how you do it. That's how it's done. A bit hard to catch the reflection of it, but yeah, that's it. As close to a 10 out of 10 you'll ever get. Go back and have a look at the video how bad that was if you haven't seen it. You wouldn't believe it's the same panel. That's the third coat. I'll give it one more, that's it. That's all you need. You don't, you don't want too much paint on stuff. It's, it's not really good for it. Now you want just enough. That's the fourth coat, that's plenty. I'll cut that with 2,000, maybe, and then three, whatever, at least two, and just buff it. Give it a nice buff, it'll, it'll look terrific. I'm very lucky you didn't get any shit land in any of it, which is... It doesn't really happen much here. We've got all these bloody gum trees and stuff just, just outside the door. But, tomorrow that gets rubbed down the body. I'll park it right here. On Wednesday, it's supposed to be nice and sunny. I'll finish it off. The thing will be painted. And I don't have to worry about painting the bloody thing again. Right, they're all done, them panels. They just need to be polished. Give them a nice polish, they'll look great. And what I've got to do is park the car back over here, move this stuff around, bring that car back in here, clean up a bit. I'm, I'm done. I've got to go and buy some more sandpaper, get ready for tomorrow. Now, I might get some more of that other digger's top coat thinners. It's not bad. It's drying fairly glossy. I've got that other motor spray one that's top coat, but I know this digger stuff's doing the job. I think I'll stick with that. I can't get the stuff that I used to use, unfortunately, but this stuff's not too bad. Anyway, I'll slap a video on that, and that's that stage done. The last stage hopefully will be on Wednesday, when I hopefully this car will get painted on Wednesday. It'll depend, it still depends on the weather i look at the weather that should be good wednesday so anyway thanks for watching that we'll see you on 
Wednesday or Thursday. Actually, just before I go, I'd just like to thank a few guys that have given me a bit of a plug on their YouTube channel, Kev, Kev's Can Cave, Robert at Vino's Hot Rods, Vino's Rat Rods, sorry, and Joe at GMC Joe Souza. I'd just like to thank you guys for giving us a bit of a plug and always appreciated with you know, a bit of help. They're all from America, those guys. You know, I just thought I'd throw that in. I'm not real good at doing that sort of thing, but I do appreciate it. Thank you.